Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this particular tutorial, uh, we want to quickly understand that what is the difference between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. And it is quite important for you to be clear with this particular concept. I've seen that a lot of people get confused with this terminology and how does it really work. Okay, so uh, in very simple terms, you have to understand it in this way. Uh, first let's look at vertical scaling so you have one server right uh, let's say this particular server currently has um, you know a configuration like four virtual cpu and you know 8 gb ram okay this is the configuration of this particular machine now you require more power from this machine so what you do you basically go ahead and scale it up right so you can very well go ahead and uh, increase the power on this machine by making it a uh, 8 virtual cpu 16 gb ram machine right if i talk about aws specifically you can uh, very easily do this uh, you can go ahead and just stop your instance and change the instance type and then start it again you know that's all is required to basically increase the size or capacity of an ec2 instance but remember every time when you do vertical scaling in this way your machine needs a stop and start right so let's say you had a vm uh, with this particular configuration as written at the top you stop that vm change that um, instance type and you know then start it again now the you know the same machine has more power because it has got more cpu and ram so the only downside here is that it requires stop and start so whatever machine you know whichever machine you're trying to do vertical scaling on the process which is running on that particular machine will get interrupted isn't it because it requires a stop and start okay so that is a vertical scaling if you look at some of the examples that in which scenarios uh, you know you you mostly go for vertical scaling if you look at uh, our traditional databases right oracle or sql server for that matter right all of these they used to support vertical scaling only right you cannot just uh, go ahead and do horizontal scaling on those uh, now you might be thinking what is that so we will discuss that as the next item so in case of horizontal scaling let's say you have a server currently okay and this was this particular server uh, same way as we discussed earlier has got uh, four virtual cpu and 16 gp ram once again right so and sorry 8 gp ram okay let's take the same example so 8 gp ram and what you want to do is you want to have more power here right so what you could do what you could do in that case is you can go ahead and uh, just add more such servers right so instead of having one such server what you could do is you can go ahead and have one more isn't it if you need more power you can have one more right so now uh, if you see overall setup now you have got two new servers right so of course these two new servers or two new vms will have their own uh, you know their own um, IPs, uh, their own uh, instance IDs, right? Right. So this way. Now this is horizontal scaling. In case of horizontal scaling, you will add more and more instances or more and more nodes. The important thing, uh, the important thing to understand here is when you are doing horizontal scaling, right? Like when you added these two new instances here, right? The this one, this one, and this one when you added these two new instances you did not have to stop this instance or disturb this first instance new instance just get added and the existing instance continues to run without any problem or without any downtime so uh, that's very much desirable because your existing process on the first instance did not get disturbed now uh, if you if you look at some of the examples um, you know our NoSQL databases nowadays, um, like um, like MongoDB, or for that matter, um, 
Cassandra, all of these databases, they support horizontal scaling. That's a good thing, right? Also, you need to understand if you look at the uh, look at the features which are available within AWS, when you go ahead and do uh, auto scaling, right? You set up EC2 auto scaling. So using auto scaling, when like more number of nodes get created, that is horizontal scaling. Okay. Now the last thing which I would like to just talk here is the term which is used in both of these, right? In case of uh, vertical scaling, as you are able to see, uh, in case of vertical scaling, which is on the left hand side, uh, you either increase the power or configuration or you decrease it, right? Like this. So the terminology used here is easy. It is called, uh, the you know, the terminology used here is scale, sorry, it is a scale up and scale down. You know, it is easy to understand that um, that scale up means adding more configuration or adding more uh, infra on that machine and scale down means removing the removing the infra from your machine. The important thing to understand is when you do scale up or scale down, the other properties like the identifiers of your instance do not change, the private IP will not change, the instance ID will not change, right? And in case of horizontal scaling, the terms are scale out and scale in right scale out means adding more number of instances to you know like when you want to add more instances that process is called scale out and removing the instances is called scale in um, you have to understand that in case of uh, horizontal scaling you will have multiple nodes and every node will have its own ip and instance id etc and that's why you know we typically go ahead and put a load balancer in front of those instances so that was a small simple video uh, around uh, understanding vertical and horizontal scaling i hope you are able to get that if you have any questions feel free to write it in the comment section and if you learned something from this video it would be great if you can share it with someone uh, if you want to uh, watch more such videos uh, on aws feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel okay thank you uh, and we'll come back soon with a new video.